I actually had the idea for day one when I was writing uh, Quiet Place Part Two, because when I wrote the opening for the Abbott family going through the circumstances of the first alien invasion, I thought um, that would be an amazing story point to drop into the real world in New York City and see how the whole rest of the world was dealing with it. And certainly under probably more extreme circumstances, um, being arguably the loudest city in the world and, and how people would respond to that in great numbers. And I think New York is a place that whether you've been there or not, it is something that is familiar to you. So it's really fun to, in a, in a world like a quiet place, break down a place that you think you know and uh, put it under extraordinary circumstances. Um, and so for me, the idea of New York was always really, really enticing. Um, not only uh, how loud it is, I think it's arguably one of the loudest cities in the world, or at least as a New Yorker, we think we're the loudest city in the world. Um, and, uh, but also the, um, the bond that New Yorkers have, that there is a group mentality to being in New York. And would people um, assist and help each other? Or would they completely um, uh, leave each other in the dust and, and run for survival of their own? This idea that um, a city that we um, think we know so well under extraordinary circumstances, so tragic and so horrific that you couldn't even process them. And I think that visceral response um, is very human, that you don't have a time to make a decision. It's fight or flight. And I think that that processing moment is gone. And so you just become your most primal self. And what is that most primal self? Do you help the person next to you? Or do you abandon the person next to you? Lupita is one of those actresses who's going to make any single role or any single movie better, period, the end. And I think that it's because of her specificity. I think she's a very, very powerful um, actress, a very powerful presence. She's able to communicate such deep emotion um, in such a unique way. And it's, it's, um, it's just such a joy to watch. And what she did with this was not only incredibly difficult physically, um, but it was also incredibly difficult uh, mentally, you know, to put yourself in that position, to be terrorized for what we did in Quiet Place 2 for about 12 minutes she had to do for the entire movie. And she did it so brilliantly and so elegantly. We were so lucky to get Joe to do this movie because I think everyone's offering him every movie on the planet right now. And I just thought he, he's, he's so technically sound and so talented. Um, and then in this movie, yet again, it's that idea of it's very difficult to play the worst day of your life and, and not let it feel too big or too melodramatic. And the way to do that is to be extremely talented and uh, be able to walk a razor's edge, which is, um, I believe, what he played so well, which is that fight or flight thing, which is there are moments where you can see the overwhelming nature of the day hit him. And then the specifics of the tiniest thing, which is this friendship with Lupita that is burgeoning right here in front of our eyes. He gets to play the specifics of how much that means to him. So all those colors and, and variations he played so well. And so that to me is, is, um, is the two of them are the heartbeat of the movie. Jaiman was actually the key that I knew would connect the two worlds. Um, I knew that his story at the fire is where I came up with the idea for the prequel, that that story that he told was so incredibly um, intense and so dark and you found yourself just wanting to know what was that experience like and it all happened behind his eyes he was just telling a story to Killian and I just thought what if we actually experienced his story firsthand but you didn't know it was his story you start going through it with the whole city and then you will meet Jaiman uh, in day one uh, and that'll be the link to the two stories I've been a fan of Alex's for a long time. He makes the movie so much better because he immediately grounds you in this human way. And he's, it, you just believe immediately the circumstances of the day unraveling kind of happened through Ruben's eyes. I love Alex as an actor and I, and I just loved watching him in this.